15th January 1897 During British rule Sri Lanka which was once referred to as the pearl of the Indian Ocean stood in abysmal darkness having lost its ancient glory It was due to the morbid condition of her culture and religion which Sri Lankans considered as their life breath brought out by the western materialism and religious conversions it was at that time they received a ray of hope in the form of a news item Vanakkam Vanakkam Have we got in news No I don't know Bhagwan Sri Ramakrishna's disciple Swami Vivekananda has arrived in our country The Hindu religion which was earlier criticized by many has been raised to a level of world renowned religion by him is that right Yes it is correct Swami Vivekananda participated in the parliament of religions held in Chicago in 1893 and by his spectacular speech and spiritual eminence planted the victory flag of hinduism in the western world he went to the usa and europe and explained the greatness of hinduism and its harmony with other religions i consider him as an incarnation of tirunyana sambandha otherwise is it possible for an ordinary person or saint to accomplish such task Let us meet him and have the darshan of Shiva. Om namo parvati paraye ara hara mahadeva. Swami Vivekananda visited Sri Lanka for the first time when his ship halted at the Colombo harbor during his onward journey to participate in the parliament of religions held in Chicago in 1893. However, it was only in 1897 during his return journey to India from the west when he visited Sri Lanka for 11 days from January 15th to the 25th that it assumed great historical significance. Under the leadership of one of the nationalists Ponnambalam Ramanathan, Ponnambalam Arunachalam, Ponnambalam Kumaraswamy Thambaya Chettiar and others formed a committee and received Swami Vivekananda. They made arrangements for the Swami to visit various provinces from Colombo to Jaffna. His powerful lectures at these places Swami Vivekananda gave a fresh impetus to the people of Sri Lanka as a result various hindu societies came into existence people who were on the verge of atheism were also attracted by the message of Swami Vivekananda this year commemorating the 125th anniversary of Swami Vivekananda's visit to Sri Lanka celebrations are held throughout the country Ananda Suraye Manidani magatanavan mannil paramburulin buruvanavan later Swami Vivekananda departed for India from Sri Lanka and reached Kolkata in West Bengal. He established Ramakrishna Mission in Kolkata on 1st of May 1897. At present, Ramakrishna Math and Ramakrishna Mission, having numerous branch centers across the world, is headquartered at Belur Math, West Bengal. Sri Ramakrishna practiced spiritual disciplines in India and taught 
Swami Vivekananda about the harmony of religions. While accepting all religions as true, you have to practice your religion. It is the goal of the sannyasi to achieve liberation through self-realization. Attracted by the message of Sri Ramakrishna, Swami Vivekananda introduced the ideal of service together with the age-old goal of sannyasa in this organization. It is God Himself who is present in all beings. One should serve God residing in all beings. Service to man is service to God, is the dictum of this age as declared by Sri Ramakrishna and Swami Vivekananda. At the request of the devotees, Swami Vivekananda sent his brother disciple Swami Shivananda to Sri Lanka. He arrived in Colombo in July 1897. He resided at the charity house of Tambaya Chettiyar and conducted spiritual classes for the devotees for around six to seven months. Swami Vivekananda visited Sri Lanka for the third time during his journey to the West in 1899. Following his footsteps, a few other direct disciples of Sri Ramakrishna, Sister Avabamiya and monks of the Ramakrishna mission kept alive the flame of knowledge that was earlier lighted by Swami Vivekananda. This is the holy place where Swami Vivekananda, Swami Shivananda and other direct disciples of Sri Ramakrishna stayed. It is important to note here that Swami Vinyanananda, one of the direct disciples of Sri Ramakrishna, visited Colombo and Batikalo. He bestowed his blessings upon the devotees and Batikalo ashrama. Standing on this very spot, Swami Vinyanananda Maharaj blessed this institution to have immense growth. He opened up both his hands in a gesture to indicate the same. Swami Vinyanananda stayed and sanctified this room of the school which was then under the Ramakrishna mission. He also did puja at the old temple of Ramakrishna mission Batikalo. Another temple which was built in 1972 was renovated, enlarged and reopened in the year 2021. In 1922, Pandit Mailwaganam, born at Karethivu in Sri Lanka, under the guidance of Swami Sharvananda, embraced the monastic life and joined Ramakrishna Mutt in Chennai. A disciple of Swami Shivananda, Mailwaganam became Swami Vipulananda in 1924 and is still cherished by the people of Sri Lanka. In 1925, Swami Vipulananda returned to the homeland and established Ramakrishna Mission in Sri Lanka. Earlier in 1917, Swami Sharvananda, who was the then head of Sri Ramakrishna Mat Chennai, brought a school named Vaitishwara Vidyalayam in Jaffna under the Ramakrishna Mission. It was in this building that Ramakrishna Mission Ashrama functioned for some time in Trinkamali in 1925. In 1926, Swami Vipulananda started a home for orphaned children at Vallikkalamai Madam in Vannarpanne, Jaffna. Swami Vipulananda was given a grand reception at Pechiyamman Temple when he visited Batikalo. Moreover, a land was donated by the local devotees 
to start an ashrama there. In 1929, Swami Vipulananda transferred the boys' home that functioned at Jaffna to Batikalo permanently. To my knowledge, in the year 1925, Swami Vipulananda visited Batikalo. During that time, well-wishers living in the place donated land and provided the needed infrastructure to start a branch center of Ramakrishna Mission. Vellai niramalli gayo verandha mamalayo Vellai niramalli gayo verandha mamalayo Vellaladi inaikku vaithamalaradu vo Vellaladi inaikku vaithamalaradu vo In 1930, Ramakrishna Mission was established in Colombo, the capital city of Sri Lanka. This center in Vellavatta became the head center of the Ramakrishna Mission in Sri Lanka. The Batikalo Ashrama was made a sub-center to it. The center began to function efficiently when it centered its activities on cultural and spiritual development for children and the public on 17th march 1952 a sunday school was opened for hindu children in this center emulating this model The government of Sri Lanka opened many such schools for Hindu children throughout Sri Lanka. I have witnessed the activities of the Ramakrishna Mission in various places. They have contributed much in collaboration with our department of the Hindu Religious Ministry. In particular, the Sunday Religious School of Ramakrishna Mission is a role model for Sri Lanka. This also served as the model for many Sunday schools that were opened at various centers of Ramakrishna Math and Ramakrishna Mission in India and other places. An international auditorium with guest houses has been the center of attraction in the Colombo Center. Dignitaries from abroad have participated in the functions held in this auditorium. Although Sri Lanka obtained independence from the British in 1948, internal conflicts and civil war existed, not taking cognizance of differences that existed between different ethnic groups. Ramakrishna Mission Centers continue to serve people of all faiths having colombo as the base the successive head swamis of ramakrishna mission worked with buddhists and other religious leaders and chalked out their welfare activities it is not exclusive to monks alone but everyone can play a role in their service activities that continues to date Amid Sri Lankan civil war that lasted around 30 years, Ramakrishna Mission rendered service to the people in the fields of education, 
medical and health services, culture and spirituality and others. At times of natural calamities, both these centers have done numerous relief works for the people till now. Needless to mention that it was primarily due to the efforts of Swami Vipulananda followed by senior monks namely Swami Avinashananda, Asangananda, Prematmananda, Natarajananda, Jivanananda that truly laid the foundation for these centers. Even in faraway villages and inaccessible places of the northeast and in other provinces, 26 schools functioned under Ramakrishna Mission. These schools brought succor to poor children of the lower strata of the society by educating them, reinvigorating Hinduism among the people and bridging the divide that existed among different ethnic religious groups. The schools include Shivananda Vidyalayam, Vivekananda Ladies College in Batikalo, Karadivu Ramakrishna Mission Schools and Trinkamali Koneswara Hindu College. However, these schools were handed over to the government when education was nationalized in the 1960s. Despite the situation in the education services, Ramakrishna Mission continued to run homes for the underprivileged and orphaned students, modeled on the traditional Gurukula system successfully till now. In this tremendous service, devotees, alumni, patrons from Sri Lanka and abroad, and service-minded employees have rendered their valuable assistance throughout. In 1953, Ramakrishna Mission was started near the famous Kadirgamam Kandapiramal Temple in southern Sri Lanka. After 23 years of yeoman service, the centre has to be closed due to the orders from the government. Till 1976, the centre provided food and spiritual discourses for thousands of pilgrims who walked barefooted for miles through forest terrain to visit the temple. It is noteworthy to mention that Ramakrishna Sarada Mission has two centers in Sri Lanka and non-affiliated centers of the devotees of Ramakrishna Mission have their centers in Jaffna and Batikalo districts. During the leadership of Swami Atma Gnanji, there was no direct center of Ramakrishna Mission in Jaffna. So, we carried out those activities in Tenneveli of Jaffna. Swami Chitrupanji of Sheva Ashrama conducted the same in Point Pedro. Ramakrishna Mat and Ramakrishna Mission through its 256 branch centers, 119 Mat centers and 137 mission centers continues to spread the message of Sri Ramakrishna all over the world. India, America, Russia, United Kingdom, France, Germany, Australia, Malaysia, Singapore, Japan, Bangladesh, Nepal, South Africa, Zambia and many more. Ramakrishna Mission is one of the prominent organizations for the Hindu people of Sri Lanka. It provides refuge to deprived children, elders and youngsters. All will agree that 
it is a haven whenever needed it goes to the doorstep of the poor and needy and provides relief measures to them in this way the boundless service activities of ramakrishna mission are ever growing after the civil war ended in 2009 coaching classes were started in the war affected areas of urumbirai vishwamadu and kilinochi of northern province ramakrishna mission colombo provides education accessories for classes and food for the war affected students in the light of great spiritual luminaries like swami vivekananda ramakrishna mission has formed on the 6th june of 1926 the branch center of it was founded by swami vipulananda since its inception to date without the distinction of ethnic or religious disparity the mission has been serving here in the spiritual education and humanitarian spheres The activities of Ramakrishna Mission Ashrama Batikalo are spread across three campuses. A Sunday school was started in the Swami Vipulananda Memorial Building that was built in the year 1963. Sarada Preschool started in 1970 for children has been a benchmark for all schools for children in Batikalo. In 1997 during the centenary celebrations of Swami Vivekananda's return to his homeland 27 houses and a community hall were built for the poor underprivileged people. Alongside this Vivekananda Preschool was established to cater to the needs of the children of this community in 2014 a religious school and a medical camp were started for the poor people in the war affected area of kiran of batikalo district catered financial aid to female students not only that but they also provided shelter to the girl students in the sarada home and extended their helping hand in educating them my name is sivananda vadivel madhusudanan i belonged to a rural village in the 1990s due to the war i lost my father after that my brother and i were admitted into the ramakrishna mission homes now i am an english teacher and my brother is also a teacher i am married and have two children as i wish to bring up my children also in this environment from their childhood i bring them to the ashrama to participate in the events like bhajans my name is tavadarshini suresh kumar i was born in a backward village i lost both my father and mother and was admitted into ramakrishna mission sarada girls home on 10th of january 1993 i came to this home under the notion that this was a sort of school but after coming here 
besides providing food, clothes and shelter. The spiritual activities, household duties like cooking and musical events of the home captivated my heart. Thus, I spent happily 10 years of my life in the Ramakrishna Mission. Now I am working as a development officer in a school. The Sri Lankan government invites Ramakrishna Mission monks to important events and meetings in the country. The government recognized the Ramakrishna Mission as a charitable organization and issued certificates and postal stamps in appreciative gestures. The Ministry of Hindu Religious and Cultural Affairs, Government of Sri Lanka, has sponsored the publication of Ramakrishna Mission's spiritual books in Tamil, English and Sinhala languages. It is also gratifying that the said ministry and the Indian High Commission have frequently contributed to various welfare activities of the ashrama. It gives me immense pleasure to join you all at this auspicious event organized by Ramakrishna Mission and sponsored by the Department of Hindu Religious and Cultural Affairs of the Government of Sri Lanka to celebrate the 125th anniversary of the arrival of Swami Vivekananda to Sri Lanka. As you are aware, a few days back, we celebrated, we in the High Commission of India celebrated Swami Vivekananda's 159th birth anniversary on January 12th and we were honored to have Swamiji preside over that function. In this way, Ramakrishna Mission in Colombo and Baticalo are on the road to the 100 years of journey in serving people and continue to remain as their guiding light in education, livelihood and spirituality. The Ramakrishna Mission is a worldwide organization. After the visit of Swami Vivekananda, it has flourished in Sri Lanka also. The organization follows the main teaching of Swami Vivekananda, that is, service to man is service to God. Sri Ramakrishna himself has demonstrated this concept in his own life. Religious preaching is not meant for empty stomachs. Feeding them is the priority, told Sri Ramakrishna. Keeping our motto, Atmana Mokshartam Jagati Dayacha, we are rendering varieties of services in Sri Lanka. It is a matter of great joy. Many youth are coming forward to do service, understanding the value of service. We welcome all of them to join us in our services. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Namah